Oklahoma City Police Chief Wade Gorley back in studio, and we're talking about the brutal attack on an OCPD officer. It was Morgan Reynolds. How's she doing this morning? She, she's doing much better. She had some pretty severe uh, injuries to her jaw. They had to do surgery to, mm. uh, to fix that. Um, but I, all um, indications are that she'll heal up and be okay. It'll just take a while, but uh, uh, we're, we're just very fortunate and thankful that she's okay. It's so scary for that officer. I know Officer Reynolds was responding to a domestic violence call. These are often very dangerous for officers, um, a lot of risk associated with it. A lot of people asking, why was she there alone? So first of all, um, domestic violence calls are, are one of the most dangerous calls that we get involved in. It's just, it's, they're so volatile, the anger levels um, that are involved in that. And so they oftentimes turn, uh, turn violent toward our officers. And we always send two officers to those calls. There were two that was assigned to this. She just happened to arrive first. Um, she heard commotion inside the apartment. Um, and I'm, I'm sure she felt like she couldn't just sit out there and do nothing. And she had to go in and, and try to address what was going on in there. So I, I think she did everything right. Uh, did the best she could um, and uh, it's just like anything else you know even when you send two officers the chances of them getting there identical at the same time are going to be pretty rare. Yeah, and she wasn't going to sit by hearing that. Absolutely. Yeah, she, she did everything right. I mean, and you know, and you, and you see a lot of things about that. People are always looking at, like, you know, who's at fault? Somebody's to blame in this. And it's, it's the guy that did this, period. Um, and, and not my opinion. It's just fact. He should have been in prison. Um, he should not have been out and uh, had the uh, opportunity to do this. He's assaulted police officers before and mm. injured them. Um, and it's just very frustrating. We're seeing this more and more in society and uh, you think it, it wouldn't happen here in Oklahoma, but it does. Uh, more and more people that should be in prison are out there um, on the streets and, and able to do these things. And, and it's frustrating that our, our officers have to deal with this on a daily basis. And quite honestly, it could have been even worse. It's hard to imagine that, but it could have been even worse. There was another person who was trying to help Officer Reynolds. They actually ended up being attacked as well during all of this. Uh, what would you say to folks who may see something like this and want to jump in and help? You know, you always want to caution people against doing that, but in, in this instance, I, I, it very possibly saved her life. He was, uh, from what the video shows and what we've seen um, and as far as investigating the case, it didn't look like he was going to stop beating her. Mm. And so I credit that individual for stepping in and at least being enough of a uh, distraction to turn his attention toward them. I wish that they hadn't gotten assaulted, but, but I believe it probably saved uh, lives and, and caused him to ultimately flee the location too, not making the situation worse. It's a tough situation all around, but we wish her the best in her road to recovery. Um, thank you for being with us this morning, Chief. You if you have a question for the Chief, you can submit questions um, by sending us an email at chatwiththechief at griffin.news, and we'll see you next week.